Good morning. My name is Lorraine with Crafty Therapy by L here on YouTube. This is my first time going live, so I'm hoping that it's working. Um, it looks like it is. I don't see anybody on yet, but I'm just going to let it roll. So what I'm doing, I have an order for a spring wreath in my Etsy shop. So basically I'm finishing up with my ribbons. I've added my beautiful deco mesh. I've got this tan and cream check and this pretty welcome spring sign. I know it's backwards for you guys, um, but I've attached it. I've punched holes top and bottom and I've just wired it on. So as you come on, say hello. You can watch what I'm doing. I have four different ribbons that I'll be attaching. Usually most of my ribbons are, I, usually most of my wreaths, I use four different ribbons. And I have this really pretty purple tulip one that picks up beautifully to the sign. As you can see, it's got the greens and the purples and the tans. So I thought this was perfect to go with this design. So what I'm doing is I take three ribbons at a time and I fold them over and I cut them so that you get a pretty finished dovetail. And then I do the other side. And you can go back to my other videos. I showed how to attach I showed how to make the frame in one video. I've also showed how to attach the deco mesh um, in another video. I showed how to actually, I actually cut my video, uh, sorry, cut my ribbons using a ribbon board. That one I just uploaded this morning. So here's another one, a really pretty two and a half inch that's gonna go perfectly with my sign. So I'm folding it over, cutting it up at an angle to give that finished dovetailed look, we call it. So like I said, my name's Lorraine. I have a small business, Crafty Therapy by L. I sell on Etsy. I've been making wreaths for about five years now. I'm a nurse. Um, I was working in the school district, took some time off to raise my kids. And now I've been making the wreaths pretty much full time as I stay at home with my kids when they need me. Now they're grown. I have one that is taking his road test today. So all the prayers you guys can send, um, I would appreciate it. So I have a senior that's graduating. I have three boys, um, a senior that's graduating this year. He's going, um, staying locally to go to college. I have an 11th grader, that's the one taking the test today, and then I have a 13 year old, so. Wreath making is my therapy, that's where I came up with the name Crafty Therapy by L or Crafty Therapy by Lorraine. Alright, so, oh, three more. So I always use wired ribbon. Always use wide room, otherwise it's not going to hold the form when you put it onto your wreath. I started out, I said, oh, I'll try this, this satin ribbon and it doesn't have a wire. Nope. It is still sitting down there in a box after trying it once or twice in my basement. So, spend the extra money for good quality ribbon. All right, I just have to pull up the picture on Etsy, make sure I'm making it the same exact way. All right. So I have this and this paired up, and these two are gonna be paired up, all right? So I have, these were cut at 13 inches, these were cut at 12 inches, two and a half inch was cut in 13 inches, and the one and a half inch ribbon was cut at 12 inches. You can go back to my last video and take a look at that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I am measuring up my tails. I'm folding it over so the pretty side is facing me. 
I open it up where the middle is and I'm gonna add it right into the pipe cleaner. And I twisted it two or three times. I don't worry about spreading my ribbons too much. That's what I do in my when I go around um, for the final fluff. Right now I'm just concerned about getting my ribbons on. Same thing, I line them up, fold it over so the pretty side is to me. I pinch the middle so I know my tails are even on both sides. I pinch the middle and I add it to my pipe cleaner and twist it two or three times. I would love to know where you guys are watching from. I'd love to know if you guys are wreath makers or crafters or just here because you like to watch and learn something new. If you can just drop a comment to me down below. This year I am growing my channel. It's one of my goals for 2023. So if you also wouldn't mind subscribing, I'll be adding more videos. Now that I know I can go live, I'll be adding more live videos also. Fold it over, pinch the middle, add it to the pipe cleaner. This one will be shipped out today. I have a lot of beautiful designs. These are great for Mother's Day, for spring, for housewarming gifts. I'm coming from New York. I live on Long Island. You can probably hear from my voice. I don't think I have a, an accent, but I'm sure I do. And it goes pretty quickly. This was this wreath is being made low profile. So here in New York, we a lot of us have the storm doors. So that's the two doors. So that they have to be made thin, so that it would fit in between. And this is this design is just that. I do make them big and poofy. I send a lot of wreaths off to te Texas and the South, and they like them big and poofy generally. So. I have both styles in my Etsy shop. I can't tell if there's any comments. I promise I will go back though and I will answer any questions you might have or comments. So feel free to leave a question. I'm happy to answer anything once I'm done. I teach wreath classes um, about once a month, once every other month. During the warmer months, I have I offer them here at my house. I do in home. I have a group of girls that like to meet up at the bar um, once a season, and I've probably done three or four of them, three or four parties for them. So now that it's starting to get warmer out, I'm getting my supplies and designs ready to start offering that. That's a lot of fun. And you can see I'm making that V. Okay, so that V, all of the ribbons are pointing out because I don't wanna cover up my sign. So I'm just twisting it and going around. Every one of them is getting a set of ribbons and I'm alternating. You could see them alternating the design. And I'm going around. I use my rotary cutter to cut my mesh on my self-healing mat. And I use my nice sharp Fisker scissors to cut my ribbons. It's important to have sharp scissors, otherwise you're gonna end up with a lot of fraying for your ribbon. All of my supplies uh, that I really truly do love and I use daily, I will link down below after the video. 
in my Amazon store. So you can get, be confident what you're ordering and know that they're of good quality. So next I'm taking my wire cutters and I'm just going maybe about a half an inch above where I twisted it. And I'm just cutting off this extra pipe cleaner. We don't need any more. Sometimes I do add some stuff into it and I leave them a little bit longer. But for this design, we're done with the pipe cleaner. So I'm just trimming them. I'm gonna do the ones down below that might be out of the camera. Again, nice sharp wire cutters are important. Makes easy work for your hands. All right, so I got all of them. Now I'm just gonna take them and tuck them around the back. That way they're not so visible. Fold them down and in the back. Fold them down and in the back. gives it a more finished look. This is going to be a 24 inch wreath by the time I'm done. And I'm just folding these over on the bottom. If you have a little strand, no worries. Just cut that off. Folding over these pipe cleaners. Okay, so now the final thing that I like to do is I like to go around and spread my, my ribbons. My preference is to take the thick, the thin, the thick, the thin. And that's how you're going to really spread out and make a beautiful full wreath. And I'm curving them, I'm giving them a nice smooth curve. In my Etsy shop, I also have um, ribbons that are already paired up. If you're concerned about not being able to choose the right ribbons, are they gonna match? Are they gonna go well together? I've taken the guesswork out of that for you and I sell them in bundles. So you can take a look at that. I've recently added mystery bow boxes. So on this channel, I'll be making a lot of bows, large bows that you can add to a wreath or a lantern or a banister. Um, and I'm going to be selling those in mystery boxes. So if you have trouble making bows for your wreaths, take a look there. They'll all be different, but they will all be beautiful. So I'm just going around, spreading them all out, giving them a little curve down. I am surprised I've got two dogs. I've got men working outside on the drive, not the driveway, the, uh, the town is working outside, digging up all of the sidewalks on the street. I'm, sh I'm shocked that they're not barking their heads off right now. I have my kids off on spring break. My kids have spring break this week. I know a lot of New York has it next week, but mine, I've got two that are still sleeping. Mind you, they're all teenagers, so makes sense. And one is outside building an Adirondack chair. That's his, uh, he takes carpentry in school, so he's finishing up an order for um, our neighbor. So that's kind of exciting. Pretty good for a 16-year-old. All right, so here you go. Hopefully you can see. I know it's kind of zoomed in, um, but really pretty, really easy to do. Once you get in the groove of how to do it and you got the right tools, you can do this too. So like I say, my name is Lorraine. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this. I will be posting more videos like this on basically step one of getting the frame ready to the finished product. Have a great morning.
Bye.